Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will share with you 10 amazing iPhone features that I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't know about. Now these are actually really really cool and most of them will be very useful and you'll probably find yourself using these on daily basis. And even though I've done a lot of videos on hidden iPhone features and tricks, I found some that I didn't know myself so these are really really cool. Now we're starting with the first one. Now you can use this anywhere you want wherever you have a keyboard maybe when sending a message an email or something like that let's say you want to message your phone number to someone here's how you do it all you have to do instead of typing your number is tap on the keyboard and just write down this Just like that, as you can see, it will show you your phone number right there. Now on the contacts app and on the phone app, you will have your card at the top where you have your number and that's what it will display right here. So just like that, I can go ahead and tap that. It will add the number there and I can go ahead and send it on a message, email or anywhere else I want. Now here's the really cool feature of the Maps app. Now this has been new to me as well, I didn't know about this feature, but it's actually pretty awesome. So wherever you are, you go to the Maps app and you want to find out your location, the exact address and the coordinates. All you have to do, go to the search bar on the Maps app. All you have to type here is type here. So here at the top right there it will show you the location you can tap on search it will show you your exact location the details the address the coordinates and of course you can also search for directions here you can share it you can drop a pin you can do anything here so it shows you your exact location with all the details you need to know simply by searching here now this right here is a pretty useful feature, especially if you have a device that has the lock button not working properly or you just don't want to use the lock button. Here's what you can do. Head on to your settings, go under accessibility, then go to touch. Right here will have assistive touch. Make sure you go ahead and enable it. You will have here single tap, double tap or long press. Now, I would suggest that you use double tap for this because it's more convenient and you won't do it by accident. So you tap on double tap right there and find the lock screen. What this allows you to do is lock the screen of your device. Simply double tap on the assist to touch button and just like that, you can quickly lock your device. Here's one of the most underrated features of the iPhone. And when you get used to using this feature, you will love it and it will save you a ton of time and you don't actually need to have a third party app or keyboard. You can do this right on the keyboard of your iPhone, the default iOS keyboard. Head on to your settings. Right on the general settings, you will have here the keyboard settings and then go to text replacement. What you can do here is replace text with basically anything you want. So I have here GGG, it will display my email. So whenever I want to type my email, I don't have to actually worry about just typing the email from the beginning. All I have to do is type GGG and then the space bar. And there you go, there I have the email. So this is actually really, really useful. You tap the plus button right there. You have the phrase, you can type your email there, maybe your phone number, anything you want. Then you have the shortcut right here. Once you use that shortcut, just I used it right here, it will actually display your email or whatever text you enter there that can be maybe your house address, your phone number, whatever you want. You can quickly add it anywhere simply by using the shortcut that you create right here under the text replacement settings. Now here's something pretty cool that you can do on the notes app. Now you could do this on websites and things like that, but did you know that you can do this on the notes app as well when you go to a note and you're trying to find something if you have a large note with a lot of text you can actually do this simply by tapping the three dots right there and you will have a button here that says find in note so you can just tap right there and you can just go ahead and search for any text you want as you can see right here i can go ahead and find any word i want on that note and of course i will have here the arrows which allow me to move up and down on those words of course if the search matches multiple words you can go ahead and move between them you will have here the result of course you can find you can find and replace 
whole words and also match the case directly from here. On the Reminders app, on the Stock Reminders app, if you use it on your iOS device, you will have a really quick way to add reminders to any of your lists. You know, on the Reminders app, you have different lists you can create, so you don't have to go into the app and find your lists. All you have to do is just swing the touch on the Reminders icon, and you will have your lists here. You can tap New in Grocery. In this case, it will take you right there into the grocery list. You can go ahead and add your reminders from here. Moving on to the app library, did you know this? So when you go to the app library and you go to the list of apps, you actually will be able to use the 3D touch menu directly from here. So of course, nowadays, most people will have most of their apps on the app library and not have a ton of pages on the home screen. But if you want to use those apps and you want to use their 3D touch capability, you can do that directly from here. So if I just go ahead and 3D touch there, I can go ahead and shop here for iPhone or see my orders directly from here. So you can use the 3D touch menu of any of your apps, even right here from the app library. You can see as easy as that. Just hold the icon and not hear the name, hold the icon and you're good to go. Now the 3D touch menu is actually pretty useful. And one thing I found very useful about it is that you can use it with the icon of the books app on the home screen and you can quickly open your recent books. So if I 3D touch there, you can see I can search the bookstore, but I will have my three latest books that I'm reading right there and I can go ahead, tap any one of them and start reading or resume reading directly from the home screen. On the notes app, when you want to format something, you will have this button right here, the AA button. You tap there and it removes your keyboard. You will have all the different formatting options right here. But what's really cool is that you can actually even do that without removing your keyboard. You tap and hold here and you will have here your options. You can go ahead and change the formatting of that word or sentence directly from here simply by holding this you can do it as easy as that so no need to go back and forth between the formatting menu and your keyboard and last but not least we're moving to the photo library now here we have a really great feature on the photo library so whenever you go to a photo and you swipe up you will see all the details regarding that photo so everything you need to know all the details that are on that photo will be right here. And you also have something called here save from. It shows you from which source or from which app you have actually saved that photo on your photo library. And if you tap on the name of the source right here, what it does is that it will show you all the photos that you have saved from that source to your photo library. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 10 iPhone features that I believe are really, really cool. And of course, a lot of them are actually very, very useful. And most likely, a lot of you guys will find yourself using a lot of these on a daily basis on your iPhone because they will make your life easier, let you do things more quickly, and let you do even more with your iPhone. So that's it. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe for more videos. I'll see you on the next one.